Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Motive Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction to a brand new Haywire track with or without. New track on Lost in Dreams out now, which I believe is Haywire's first release on Lost in Dreams, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that though, but uh, yeah, brand new Haywire track. This was, uh, was the one that was voted on by the Bowtide Gangs. So if you want to join the channel membership today uh, for super cheap, less than a, like a burger a month, um, you can join today and have a say in the songs that uh, get talked about here. But but uh, yeah, let's hop into it. I'm really excited for New Haywire. It feels like it's been a little bit, but not a little bit. Like he was on a good run and kind of slowed down, but then now is this out for a little bit. So uh, I'm excited. I'm really intrigued to hear what this is going to be like. And so uh, on a new label as well. So uh, here we go. This is With or Without. I'm sort of hoping for like a deep house cut would be my guess. My desire. Give me another like memory or do you don't you kind of track. said outro here, I'm assuming. Okay, this is unlike uh, much of Haywire that we've heard in recent times. Uh, I think, honestly, if anything, this is pre two fold era style uh, uh, Haywire here. This is this is really fascinating. Like this is like a purely like just very hard hitting, driven electro house track. Like just a gritty, just nasty synth run and bassline to it. It just it just it just goes. It goes and goes and goes. And um, it, on a similar vein, we've se we've seen Haywire recently also kind of go for a more vocally f driven track and a more uh, less processed on the vocals. And uh, he's sort of doing that here. The the vocals are a little muddier in the mix. I think that's stylistic for the most part. Um, but it is like a more not as quite like a robotic or processed sound or uh, like a stylistically tuned, auto-tuned track um, or vocal, I should say. And uh, yeah, it, it's just a really neat new style, I think, from Haywire that I feel like I haven't really heard in forever. Um, it, it hits really well. It works It works magnificently, magnificently uh, with, with uh, I do think, with the vocals. I think the backing production does quite work well, well with it. I'm stripping on my words here. And um, yeah, I, I just think this is this is a track that, there is it's something we don't hear from Haywire because it's more uh, like, I don't even know. How to, there's like not really any 
real like soloing in it. There's not there's not like real any performance to the individual track here. It feels more like a a pre-produced very like DAW heavy track that doesn't have these like really unique synth run patterns or these like soloing that you can do on these keyboards that um, you can just throw in here and there. It just feels like an actual like a, a more of like an EDM song than I think Haywire has done in the past. And uh, I kind of enjoy it. Uh, I, I said in the middle of the video, it sounds like a lot like a, like a Martin Garrix sound. And I really do stand by that. I think it does sound quite a lot like Martin Garrix does um, nowadays of just this like very clean, put together, but also pretty heavy uh, Electro House sound. So um, yeah, this is, this is a fun new track. I, I'm, I'm jamming with this. I'm, I'm digging this. I'm feeling the vibes and uh, I'm intrigued to see if there's more uh, it's going to be in this style or if this is just like a one-off here on, on Lost in Dreams or I don't know what that's going to be like. But um, yeah, fun track. I really enjoyed this, but I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comment section below um, because other than that, I've been Dakota from Botai Media and I'll see you guys in another video.